friends, the Benidorm enthusiasts here. Today's video is a bit of a news and weather update, bringing you some interesting info about what's going on here in Benidorm at the moment. We've got the tourism figures for May, which may well shock you, as well as the expected numbers for summer. A look at the recent weather and the upcoming forecast and predictions for summer. All good info for those of you that are coming out here in the near, up, near future, or just like to stay up to date with what's going on in your favorite holiday resort. Before we get into it, I'd like to ask you to make sure you subscribe to the channel. Keep you in tune with what's going on here in Benidorm, but it also really helps us out. More subscribers means YouTube will promote our videos more and it costs you absolutely nothing. So click subscribe button and click the bell so you'll also get a notification each time we release a video and you won't miss a minute. Okay, so let's have a look at the tourism numbers from May now that we've had them confirmed. What a month! I can't actually believe we're into June already. This year is absolutely flying by. It'll be peak summer before we know it. It's just crazy. May was an extremely busy month for Benidorm, despite having some pretty rough weather towards the end. The second half of May did suffer a little, with fewer people booking last minute because of the storms, but overall it was a very strong month indeed, with numbers coming very close to 2019. The occupancy average for the whole of May was 81.3%, very close to 2019 numbers which was our record year to date and which had an occupancy average of 83.2 in May. The Brits absolutely smashed it up in May, dominating the tourism market with 50.3%. The second most dominant nationality visiting Benidorm in May was the Spanish with 35.5%. That's where the last minute bookings will have dropped off the most. We usually get a lot of national tourists arriving from other parts of Spain for a quick break when they see the weather forecast is looking good. But obviously when the storms were predicted for the end of May, that will have put a lot of people off coming here. I have friends from Madrid and Bilbao that I normally see at that time of year and they stayed away because of the rain that was forecast. So well done the Brits and thank you for choosing Benidorm and continuing to support us here, spending your hard earned cash and giving our economy a much needed boost this spring. Those numbers are incredible. The British market was up by 3% compared to 2019. Absolutely brilliant and long may it continue. Benidorm was declared the favourite tourist destination for the British this year. We did a video about that recently. If you haven't seen it, flick back a couple of weeks on our homepage and check it out. And in another report since then, Benidorm has also been declared the second best city in the world to go on holiday after Covid. This was announced by the U-Trust portal who analysed product and safety strategies in 81 cities around the world and Benidorm came in second place for the most effective destinations, beaten only by Paris. Another impressive report which we are very proud of here. Benidorm also seems to be the destination for travel vloggers this year. There are a lot of YouTubers who travel around the world doing travel reviews and many of them have been in Benidorm at some point this year. Why? Because it's the place to be, that's why. Lee the MacMaster who has visited a few times and I am happy to call my friend now. If you're watching, I just want to send you my regards. I know you've not been very well recently, so I hope you get better soon. Take it easy and get yourself back to full fitness because Benidorm is waiting for you. So how are things now that we're in June? Well, I personally think it seems a little quieter this week, although the predictions for the first fortnight in June were still very good with 80.7% hotel, hotel occupancy. There were a few flights cancelled, unfortunately, with the air, French airstrikes. And it does feel a little calmer here now after the madness of the spring months. The types of tourists coming here this month are changing. We're seeing less stags and hens and wild groups here to party and we're seeing more normal holidaymakers, normal, kind of, and families arriving for some sunshine and chill time. 
I love June. It's a great month. The vibe is different around resorts. It's more relaxed than wild. And we start seeing more international tourists arriving too, which adds to the diversity of the resort and makes it a much more interesting place. They expect the summer to be incredible this year, number-wise, with hotel occupancy between 85 and 90% for the duration of July and August, and getting close to 100 over certain periods, such as the August Bridge. That's not including last-minute bookings, obviously, so we really are in for a busy one. Summer is just around the corner, it's crept up from nowhere. We've got the San Juan Fiesta coming up this month, which is when summer officially starts and it's celebrated with beach parties going on into the early hours. That will be Friday the 23rd of June going into the 24th. So if you're here for that, you're in for a treat. It's a fantastic fiesta. Great to witness and get involved in. One of my favourite fiestas of the year here. It really is good fun. If you're here this week and you're a darts fan, we have the EDU European Darts Championship coming to town. It's from the 10th to the 16th. It will be held at the Municipal Sports Palace and spectators will have the chance to watch some of Europe's best darts players compete in a variety of competitions. There's a music event on Saturday as well at the Julio Iglesias Auditorium which celebrates the 90s and 2000 eras with live music, DJs and tribute shows. So lots going on to keep you entertained here. What's the weather been like here since the heavy storm a couple of weeks ago? Well, we have had some absolutely stunning days with clear blue skies, undivided sunshine and temperatures in the mid-twenties, right where they should be for June. Temps are creeping up a little higher this weekend, 27 peak temp during the day, and the night temperatures are more normal now as well. Overnight lows are just 20 degrees, which is really comfortable. Those temperatures are perfect for me. Another reason why I love the month of June. We still have had some iffy days though with a fair bit of cloud and more rain showers, which isn't normal for June. It's usually a very dry month. The rain has not been anything like the storms we had two weeks ago though. It is literally just an odd shower here and there. And it's been quite pleasant actually because of how warm it's been in between. They expect that the weather will settle down for the second half of June and we'll see our blue skies and sunshine returning more permanently for the rest of the month. What are the weather predictions for summer? Well, I personally thought we would be in for a cooler summer after having the rain so late on. But I'm not a weather woman, weather person, whatever you're supposed to call them these days. The experts are predicting it's going to be another hot one. Hotter than average but maybe not quite as hot as last year. This time last year was when the heat wave started and the heat was relentless. It kept on going right the way through to September without easing up. This summer may not be quite so extreme heat wise, but it is still gonna be hot. It could be wetter this summer as well with some odd showers continuing through what are usually very dry months. That's exactly what we need. And if those predictions are correct, it will be a great summer for us all to enjoy. We've got some fab videos coming up, telling you all about events coming up this summer. Festival season is almost upon us and there's loads going on in Benidorm. We've also got some top tips on how to stay safe on your summer holidays here and loads more in store for you on the channel. I'm really looking forward to this summer. I have some exciting personal news, which I can't share with you just yet as I don't want to jinx it, but all being well, I will have more free time this year to bring you even more videos. I don't have enough hours in my day to do everything I want for you guys right now, but hopefully that will be changing soon. We want to do more videos showing you different things to do on your holidays in Benidorm. Day trips, excursions, activities, those sorts of things. So if there's anything like that you'd specifically like to see, then let us know in the comments and we'll get it on our list. Exciting times ahead. It's been a great year so far in Benidorm and the summer is going to be one to remember. So don't miss a minute of Benidorm stuff. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, click that beer mug and get subscribed guys. It costs you absolutely nothing. And also check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok at The Benny Dorm Enthusiast. Stay positive and stay safe.